Good morning, everyone. Today is April 9th, and I am going to be doing another kind of more creative, different type video for you guys today. And it is called the Easter Eggs and Easter Basket collaboration that I was asked to be a part of. It's where we're going to be decorating Easter eggs and decorating our Easter baskets. The hosts for this collab are NC Mountain Mama and Leslie Waz. And there's a bunch of us in the collaboration. There's Connie's This and That, Bonnie's Bargain. Perry Picola's Vlogs, there's me, Jamie Leesman, Miss Jackie Russell, Katie's Corner of the World, Mayflowers and Creative Moon, Sassy Southern NC Girl, which I think is North Carolina Girl, Alma Tyser, and Lilo Crafts. So there's a couple of familiar names in here that were part of our Fairy Garden collab, which I really loved it because everybody's was just so wonderful. So I know this collab, everybody's Easter baskets and Easter eggs are all gonna be so wonderful, so different. So definitely worth checking out everybody's videos. Peaches is with me today. What are you doing, Peaches? Hello. We are gonna be having a giveaway. It is not gonna run as long as some other collaboration videos. So make sure that you pay attention at the end for the start and end date so that you don't miss it. You wanna have time to go through and see everybody's videos to be able to enter into this giveaway. And I will talk about that at the end. But for now, I thought it was a really fun idea. I really haven't done anything like this and it's been a really long time since I've decorated an Easter basket. I wish I had more time to work on it, but just my schedule didn't even get to it until last night. So everything, it was kind of very last minute. I've had it on my schedule to do, like my to-do list for a very long time, but it just kept getting bumped off. And I had fun making the treats that I did make, but I didn't get to do everything that I had originally planned to do. So I thought it would be fun to do something different. Instead of working with actual eggs, I decided I was going to make egg cake pops. So this time it was Kiwi that was going wild. Say hello, Kiwi. Thank you. I decided I would make treats. So all of my decorations that are going to be in my Easter basket, besides, you know, like the paper that's at the bottom, is going to be treats. So I made Rice Krispie Treat carrots, and then I made Easter egg cake pops, and I made a bird's nest with some little bird peeps on top of it, and I'm going to put it all together. So if Kiwi will behave, hopefully they will be quiet enough for me to be able to put this together for you guys. This is the Easter basket that I chose. It's not super huge, but since I was going to be doing treats, I figured that was okay, but it is kind of deep. It's deeper than I probably would have liked. So I did buy some like crinkle paper to kind of fill the bottom part and then I can have the treats displayed on top. I got different colors. So I got blue, white, pink, yellow, and green. I'm probably just gonna actually just mix them all in there. That did its job. It filled up kind of all the way to the top so I can have the Easter stuff kind of displayed right here. I started with the carrots and they look rough. Just gonna give you a heads up. I know Azalee walked in the kitchen when I was making them yesterday and she's like, those look kind of, and I was like, rough? And she's like, yeah. I was like, well, carrots are hardly ever like naturally smooth and straight, right? They got bumps, they got grooves. Like that's how carrots are. They're not usually like smooth and straight. So I didn't want to like mold them perfectly. And what I did was I just, I found these like key lime Twizzlers to be the grass that sticks out of the carrots. And I molded the Rice Krispies kind of around it and free formed a shape. I didn't use a mold or anything like that to make the carrots. I just did free form. And then I dipped them in chocolate, the orange candy melt that I had previously bought. I let that kind of just drizzle on top of it. Again, I let it kind of lump and I wanted it to be imperfect because carrots are imperfect. With the carrots, I actually made three. I don't know if I'm gonna keep all three in the basket. I don't know how it's gonna work yet, but you can see like, Here's one of my carrots. You can see how it's like imperfect, which is totally, totally fine with me. I have a bigger one over giant carrot and we still have the Twizzlers on top. And I also made this carrot, which had three of the Twizzlers. I am just gonna stick that one right in here. I have my three carrots there, which was kind of like the look I was going for. With my eggs, <laughs> I was going to originally do both my cake pops that I'm used to making, which are ones that I make in a cake pop maker. You bake the cakes in the maker, so they're light and fluffy on the inside instead of your traditional cake crumbs mixed with frosting. But those are typically like only round and you can't really shape them to anything else. 
and I had done it before in the past and they came out really cute. If I can find that picture before I have to post, I will pop it here. I wanted to do both those and ones that were egg shaped. So I bought this egg mold and traditionally when you have egg molds like this, you want to color the design of the mold with the chocolate or the candy melts and then have it harden, then add your cake mixture and then seal it and then have it be that way. However, I do not have like the time and or enough bowls to really do that because chocolate candy melts, they dry really fast, like super fast. So to have that many colors out at a time and being able to work that quickly, plus not being interrupted, which having uninterrupted time is like, I hardly ever have uninterrupted time. I am always interrupted by either dogs, kids, husband, work. I hardly ever have like a long stretch of time where I'm not interrupted. So I decided to go a different route. I just placed the cake in the molds. For the colors of the candy melts, I went to the store with the Zaylee and we just kind of bought every color that I could think of. I got white, bright pink, light pink, dark blue, orange, teal, green, red, yellow and purple. I didn't know which ones I was going to use, if I was gonna use all of them or just some of them. I just kind of wanted to make sure that I had my options open. Back to the cake pops. I did not have time to make my cake pops in the cake pop maker the way that I'm normally used to making them. So I had to go with the easier route of just breaking up some cake into cake pieces and mixing and frosting. And I actually used just a dozen cupcakes that I got from Walmart. I separated the frosting from the cupcakes and then I did a batch of the vanilla with the white frosting and then I did a batch of the chocolate with orange frosting and I just placed those in the egg molds. Now, because I didn't pre-paint them, I was just basically trying to stick them in there to get the shape of the egg. I didn't really expect any of the indentations of the mold to actually come out on the cake pop, so that's fine. Some of them ended up coming out and some of them didn't, but really I just was going to dip the entire egg and then decorate it later. Some of my eggs turned out really cute. Some of them are a little bit more rough, but overall I'm still pretty happy with them. I tried showing you the whole process of what I was making to make the video like more visually appealing or interesting but my camera stand broke so now I have to do my filming on my computer until I can get my camera stand fixed or well till I can get a new camera stand and wow I'm just telling you anything that could have gone wrong during this time like did go wrong but let me go ahead and show you my eggs the final design of them I started out with this pink one and the dipping of this one was the roughest but I liked the end of design that I came up with, with the yellow and the purple lines over the egg. I'm gonna go ahead and place my egg in there. The next one I did was dipped in purple, and this one I put spots on it, so it kind of almost looks like a dinosaur egg, I would say. And I'll put that one back there. And then I did a yellow egg with some stripes, And then I have another one that almost looks like, I was gonna say dinosaur, but then it kind of looks like Bowser. If it had been like green instead of blue, it would be like a Bowser egg. Anyone who loves Mario, I guess would know that reference. I liked the combination there of the blue and the white. I wanted to have a golden egg kind of as a nod to the golden box hunt that we have kind of going on in our club. And also because everyone usually goes and hunts for the golden egg. This kind of goes back to what I was talking about, like how fast chocolate dries and the amount of time it took for me to dip the egg in the white chocolate and then open up my gold sprinkles. It had already hardened and I couldn't even coat the entire thing. So you can see how it's got parts missing and it's a little rough like right here because that's how fast the coating dried. And then for my last egg, I did a teal egg and then just did some drizzles on top. So it's fun Easter colors. So nice fun Easter colors. And then I'm gonna put that one there. There we go. There's my Easter basket and my Easter goodies. I actually made one more thing to go with this, although it's not gonna fit in my basket, but I bought peeps and stuff to make bird's nest cookies.
And I got these peeps to sit inside the nest. A cotton candy peep. And then I just got a traditional yellow peep. Quick little bird's nest cookies. They're just really simple. One of my little peeps to just kind of sit on the little bird's nest cookie. <laughs> my bird's nest was falling apart. And that is the design I wanted to go with for my Easter basket. I have my little bird's nest up there with the little peeps peeking out. We have carrots and my Easter eggs. I hope you enjoyed my, I guess, food take on Easter decorating or egg decorating and basket decorating. I thought it was really fun, at least to do, and not bad for all in a day's work, right? For the giveaway, the giveaway starts today, April 9th, and it ends on April 14th at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Not that many days at all. It is not gonna be like a traditional giveaway. For the collaboration rules for this giveaway, you must live in the United States, you must be 18 years or older, you must be publicly subscribed to all channels to enter anybody's giveaways, you must like and comment on the video. YouTube is not affiliated with these videos and we are not responsible if anything happens to the prize after it leaves our possession and you have 48 hours to respond to claim your prize. I'm gonna be giving away these hydrating bamboo water cleansing cloths and this is a pack of Manny in a Box Duo with a nail file. I'm also gonna be giving away this Pure Elise Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer fresh lime soap. And the last thing is this strobe and allure highlighting palette. And I will let you guys see the colors that are in this palette. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed like this more creative type collaboration. I had a lot of fun with this video and I can't wait to eat all the treats that I made. And I know my kids are gonna be excited that they're finally gonna get to be able to eat them because they've been staring at them all day yesterday. I had to say more than once, do not eat my treats. That's for a video I have to film tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll be back really soon with another video. Bye everyone.